Hey everybody, Life's Journey at 50 here. So, uh, hey, you probably obviously seen a lot of stuff. I've got a new opening. I, I talked a little bit about what I'm doing in 2024. And then a lot of people um, have commented, why get another GS? Why did I do that? So, here's kind of why. And I just find it's a great bike. I really do. I um, just felt after buying the bikes that I did between the Touring, the KTM, and, and you know, uh, looking for that next, like, unicorn bike, right? Everybody chasing a unicorn. And uh, it's funny. We all, like, debate which bike's the best, everything like that. There's even been some stuff on Facebook recently with some friends that, like, you know, what's the perfect bike out there? And um, I don't know. I just, I, I find that the GS is just the best all-around bike. Um Comfort-wise, uh, long distance, off-road, uh, you can pretty much take these bikes pretty much anywhere, uh, except for maybe some extreme single track. And then if you had some experienced riders, um, they probably could get uh, a GS through some of those uh, gnarly, gnarly parts. Uh, yeah, is it a difference between picking up a this one's I think 540 pound, 550 pound uh, bike? Uh, versus a 350 KTM. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's night and day. It's half the weight, right? Or or a third of it. Um anyways, long story short is is the reason why I did this is because if you guys saw my 2024 is that I really want to focus in on trying to compete at the next GS qual trophy qualifier. Um and again, that's going to take a lot of work. That's going to take me I got to lose uh, to me, I got to lose a lot of weight. Um, I've got to get better physically. Um, that's going to be a challenge for me. I think I've stated that in my 2024 video. Um, but I just found that the reason why I bought this bike is a twofold because I want to compete. And nothing against cap and, and this, but the GSA is just a big body. It's wider, there's more bulk to it, it's heavier. That gas tank's got eight gallons. Granted, you don't have to run it with eight gallons at a, at a competition like that, but it is a bigger, bolder bike. It's 40, 50 pounds heavier than this bike over here. Um, and when you're in competition or anything trials related, it's a lot easier to maneuver this bike than it is that bike. And I saw it, I saw it at the competition. Um, the guys that, uh, I, I, you know, uh, now Scott Ashton, I, I give him credit, he rides a GSA, but I think uh, Billy and, and uh, Kirk uh, rode regular GSs uh, in their competition stuff. So, um, but a majority of the bikes that went on into the top 16 were, were standard GSs. There was only a couple adventure bikes. And um, now, granted, if you've ever met Scott, Scott is like uh, a Norseman. He is like six, I, I think he's six, I'll say six seven foot it seems like uh you know like you know a, a norseman and uh, man handles the bike like it's a you know a paperweight so <laughs> so um but yeah, at the end of the day i that's why i bought this bike a it's just a great bike and i didn't buy the 1300 the new one because i just don't know about i mean i've been around it a couple of times i've stated that in my other videos not going to rehash that uh but i just felt that I knew what the 1250s like. This is a 21. This is a 23. There's uh, some minor differences, nothing major between the two of them. Uh, they both deliver the same, you know, throttle response, same engagement level. That's why I bought this thing because it was more knowledgeable and I felt more comfortable instead of the 1300 and trying to learn that. And again, I just didn't like the 1300 the way. Uh, and again, I was around it for a couple of times. Um, but that's the reason why I bought this. I bought this because I knew what the platform was like with a, with my own 1250 GS here. Um, I lo love the color, obviously. That 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 was probably, if you guys know me, it's probably about 50% of the reason why. It's because I like the I like the color and I like the looks of it. Um, and uh, she's a little dirty right now because I washed her off from taking her off road a little bit. But I just find that. Um, this is where I put my money and I put my investment in. And uh, there's, I got a video, obviously, that'll show all the stuff that I've done to it. Um, but that's the reason why I bought a GS. It, it is, to me, you know, everybody talks unicorn bikes, like I said. It is, uh, to me, the best overall bike. Now, is it heavy and is it for everybody? No, it's not. Um, I'm fortunate that I could get another one. Um, 
and I just find that this bike is, a, a, you know, what is it, jack of all trades, master of none type of thing. Um, and I've talked about this in the past is that whenever you put the GS against any of the other competition, it obviously always wins for road. You know, the long hauls, eating up miles, doing all that other stuff. But you get off road and it usually ends up in second or third, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, even the, if you watch the professional reviews and stuff like this versus anything else. And then at the end of the day, when they add up all the scores, the GS always is the top bike. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want something that does all of them, whether it's excellent to very well, this bike usually wins on everything. You know, yeah, could you get a, a, a KTM or a Ducati that has, you know, whatever, 3,000 horsepower and, you know, uh, 250 pounds of torque? You guys know I'm kidding. Um, but are, are you really off-road and you're, you're going 100 miles an hour? Like, no, I don't need that, right? I, I need the tractor ability of this GS. That's what the difference is. That low-end torque, the grind, uh, the chugging, You there's not a lot you have to do with this. And I've ridden some of the other bikes, and you know I didn't think the Africa Twin can handle it. Um, and again, it's competency of the rider. It's, it, it's just a lot of things make those things up. I just find uh, that the power delivery is smooth and it's more of a, of a tractor type of uh, capability. And I just find that this bike was the perfect fit for me um, and for what I wanna do. And part of that too is if I wanna do the GS Trophy, you have to, you have to ride a GS. Um, and I didn't wanna fight the bulk on the GSA because I saw what happened at the, at the last competition. So that's the reason why I bought this bike or the reasons I bought this bike. Um, and I really look forward to uh, showcasing this over the next year and a half as I get it ready to head into that competition. And then it's going to take a lot on the, my side to get, get myself ready for it as well, uh, physically and, and, you know, uh, get, get myself uh, ready for this. So that's the reason why I bought another 1250 GS. Um, I think she's going to be fantastic. Um, she is going to be a beast. She is already geared up, ready to go. And I think we're going to have some fun with it. So, uh, again, more to come. Just trying to get you guys why, what's going on with the channel. Why, why am I doing these things? Why did I buy this bike? Um, and I just felt like this is going to be the, the bike for me if I want to do what I'm trying to do. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, can't wait to get out and ride more um, and see a lot of you guys out in the, at the rallies or out and about. And, uh, again, hopefully this is giving inspiration and uh, from a perspective of someone that's only been doing this for a very short time for the last couple, two or three years. So uh, uh, it's just been a great journey so far. So thanks a lot. Again, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I really appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.